Good morning. This video lesson today is about the properties of materials and how different materials have different properties and that um, influences what they're used for. Okay, so um, when we're talking about the properties of materials, what we mean is uh, why are they suited for that particular job? What is it about that material that makes it suitable to make that object? Okay, and for example, I've got a couple of items of clothing here and I'll talk about their properties and what makes those properties suitable for that particular object. Okay, and then in class we're going to be um, exploring some different gloves and the properties of those gloves and why they're suited for that particular job. Okay, so the first item of clothing I've got up here is a pair of stockings. Um, so a stocking needs to be stretchy. It also needs to be able to change shape when a force is applied to it, such as a leg being pushed into the stocking it needs to be able to stretch out bigger for the size of the leg. Stockings also need to be able to recover their shape when that force is removed or that leg is taken out and they're put in the washing machine. So stockings, um, what did I say, stretchy? They need a stretchy material. They need a material that can um, recover its shape. Nobody likes to have saggy baggy stockings now, do they? I know I don't like saggy baggy stockings. Um, a winter coat, a winter coat, the purpose of the winter coat, coat is to keep you nice and warm. Okay, so we need to choose uh, materials that have the properties that will be able to do that. So an, a winter coat needs to be a good thermal insulator or a good heat insulator. That means to keep the heat in. So a uh, material like wool could possibly be used on the inside of the coat and that's what I've drawn here, wool. Woolly lining because wool is an excellent insulator. So a winter jacket needs to be a thermal, which means heat insulator. That's the properties of the material that we need to use in a winter coat. Uh, gardening boots. The purpose of a gardening boot is to protect your feet out in the garden. Uh, in the garden you might be watering plants so they could get wet and quite often you're also bending down and pulling out weeds so they need to be soft enough to um, not um, restrict your movement in the garden. So the properties of a garden boot that we would be looking for is something that is supple. That means that you can bend and move around easy and something that is waterproof. So a good material for a garden boot might be made of rubber. Uh, we often see rubber gum boots in the shop. Okay, uh, this one over here is a ski glove. Uh, maybe you've been lucky enough to go skiing in the snow. I haven't, I've never seen the snow and I really want to go. Um, so I've never actually worn a ski glove, but I do know that the purpose of a ski glove is to keep your hands dry and to keep your hands warm. So what we would need is an outer layer that is waterproof and you would need an inner layer to keep your hands warm. So you would need to get that lovely warm thermal insulator on the inside. So you might have some kind of plasticky material on the outside of the glove and a lovely warm maybe wool on the inside. That will keep your hands dry and warm. So the purpose of the object dictates what materials are chosen and the materials are chosen because they have that certain property. Okay, so hopefully that helps you understand why we choose certain materials for certain jobs because they all have their own properties. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.